This episode covers a lot of ground. A lot is going on. We will discuss Tron and its main currencies. They are utilizing the Salana technique to analyze Bitcoin, and yes, you heard correctly, BlackRock could be the source of all price fluctuations. On Frag Making Waves, we'll discuss the relationship and current state of play in Africa with Ripple's partner. The Australian government's website referenced a tweet we retrieved from Ripple and XRP. You did indeed hear that accurately. I directly sourced the article from the official website and presented it for your perusal. Now without further ado, take a seat and unwind. Let's dive straight into the Bitcoin market, which is currently trading at 59.66. In the last 24 hours, Ethereum has dropped 71%, closing at 25.19. USDT and USDC have also dropped 1.79%, closing at the dollar pegs alongside XRP. Yes, that's correct, people, it's 56 cents. Currently, it stands at 1.66%, but it is showing a slight fluctuation on an hourly basis, with the total amount exceeding 0.5%. With the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies remaining above $2 trillion at $2 trillion $111 billion, where are we headed? We're in Chop City, people. For a long time, I've been talking about Chop City. We're still in the Chop Zone. When will we leave, if at all? Time will determine whether someone possesses a prophetic vision or not. The only certain thing is that the breakout is imminent, which makes it crucial. Please watch the second video of the day, as we will discuss elections, cryptocurrency, and what often occurs. We also have that tether. This chart is for you to review as the month comes to an end. This is the final call to obtain your Lux Lions to be eligible, or rather qualify, for the rewards on September 1st, recall that you receive payment for holding an NFT. It's as simple as that, out on the first of every month, as long as you hold the NFT. We have returned more XRP to our holders, more than 800,000 XRP, than the majority of NFT projects, I would estimate 95% or even 99%, have done overall. On the XRP ledger, volume people in the community frequently ask me this question. This is my project, my child, my beauty. You are in excellent freaking hands. Don't trust me? Ask the locals. How is a trust line established? Establishing a trust line is a fundamental and straightforward task on the XRP ledger. XRPL DOE services, you'll click on XRPL tokens. Next, search for the token you wish to use to create a trust line. Many of my followers are excited about our September 9th token launch on Walmart. Just search for the currency and it will appear in the box. After that, click on the set button located below. On the trust line, you will now select sign with Zoom. You'll be able to verify this. We'll put your signature on the transaction. Or some wallet, it's that simple. The Crypto Minute procedure can be completed in approximately 15 seconds. The new story about Tron and the TRX main currency was published. They're attempting to draw attention to the TRX they observed once more. Due to the surge in popularity of these main currencies, the Bitcoin phase, including Sarana, has received a great deal of attention. To raise the price of TRX, they are doing the same thing by developing their platform that will allow users to generate mean tokens and mean currencies on top of it. This article dissects forecasts for TRX with complete transparency. I own no Tron. I have no intention of holding any Tron, nor do I intend to purchase any Tron mean currencies. It states that looking ahead to 2025, they anticipate a minimum price of 20 cents, with the possibility that, by the end of 2022, that price may rise to 40 cents. Since the price of TRX is currently hovering around 16 cents, if you're a Tron holder and have been holding the cryptocurrency for a while, you may be able to advantage of this when the main coin season kicks off on Tron. If not, expect a potential 3 by 3 to 4x increase in value especially if it is as prosperous as what happened in Salana. The demand for Bitcoin is BlackRock, and the price decreases to $59,000.
What does it imply that the Bitcoin ETF saw net outflows of $71 million on Thursday, the third day in a row, according to the BitLog outflow for the second time? It's quite straightforward, eventually, they will run out of fuel, steam, or gas. At that point, they will cease dumping Bitcoin, they will then re-enter and obtain a fresh entry position, which should drive the price back up. Break through the $74,000 zone, and Bitcoin will go on a wild ride. We still anticipate above $100,000, or roughly $100,000, in Bitcoin throughout the year. Sitting at roughly $60,000 at the end of the year, getting an additional $40,000 in Bitcoin virtually does a 2x is 100% on the table. Bitcoin hasn't run very far yet. Many of us have been spoiled, but we all experienced the moment when Bitcoin broke its all-time high, something that had never happened before and was not a sign. Bitcoin experienced a parabolic blow-off peak, which did not foreshadow the subsequent bull run in the cryptocurrency. The primary move is initiating, concluding, and concluding the bull season. This occurs consistently, and the previous 10 years provide evidence to support it. It typically happens approximately 5 to 6 months after the event. That period is approaching, and we're adding the released USD to the mix along with the elections. Whoever wins may be good for cryptocurrencies. You already know how I feel. The bull market is about to peak. Last night, my dad texted me, encouraging me to vote for Trump as he aims to establish cryptocurrency as the dominant industry in the U.S., provided my parents continue to discuss it. People will begin to delve deeper into their studies, dabble in the cryptocurrency markets, and start spreading the word about this, as I believe the news outlets are beginning to take up on it. After Frax pairing, I'll delve deeper into this topic. Utilizing Ripple for demand-driven liquidity well, they just tweeted out on Frack. About an hour ago, we were thrilled to see ourselves listed as one of the top 10 fintech companies. This holds significant importance in Africa, especially considering the presence of XRP and on demand. Users of liquidity are aware of this. An article from 2023 published a few months ago, suggests that individuals can utilize XRP and on-demand liquidity in this context. It states that Ripple has partnered with Onra to facilitate digital asset-enabled cross-border payments between Africa and the rest of the world. FRAC is opening three new payment corridors between Africa and the rest of the world, utilizing Ripple payments and crypto-enabled payments technology. Customers of PayAngel in the UK, residents of the GCC, and Zara transfers in Australia can now send money quickly and affordably, and they can also send business payments to recipients in 27 different countries across Africa. All parties involved in this major corridor use XRP. In 2012, Ripple tweeted something, but I'm unsure if it was in July or August, which was approximately one month ago. The statement was made approximately two months ago. Which digital asset was the best? Trends are shaping the African crypto ecosystem. Three things. First, a rise in institutional and retail cryptocurrency adoption. Second, the promise of asset tokenization with robust custody and wide reach. And third, current regulatory developments in South Africa. Can you remember the article I mentioned earlier? Discussed Australia, so now let's do this. Jack released this heartbreaking the Australian government website directly uses XRP as an example. The website not only discusses cryptocurrency assets, but also touches on gifting in the form of credits or debit cards, the taxation of cryptocurrency assets, and specifically mentions XRP. They could have mentioned any other cryptocurrency available, but for some reason, the Australian government brought up XRP. You can read the June published article from ato.gov.eu that discusses cryptocurrencies and the decision to acquire or gift them. They use XRP as an example. Why, then, would they use XRP as an example? Well, going back to the article, my best guess would be that this is because Australia uses on-demand liquidity or XRP. As a result, Many people who want to send money may either need to hold XRP or may receive it as a gift as a value transfer because using XRP is so much less expensive than moving fiat between countries, which the government is aware of. 
We are using XRP and on-demand liquidity here. If someone sends you XRP rather than Australian dollars, you still need to report it on your taxes since it is a taxable event. As a result, they provide an extremely detailed example of receiving XRP.